Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, we've decided to redo this gasket with uh, glue and staples. Now, Dave uh, has been kind enough to offer to let us use the no nails. I don't have a lot of faith in the no nails because I read the label and it bonds lots of things. It lists all the things that it bonds, uh, but rubber is not one of them. Now we did use the, I don't know, where is that bottle? Where, rugby. Where's the rugby, Tatai? Oh, it's there. Okay. I'll get it. No, 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 I'll get it, Tatai. I'll get it. Boy. And we've got most of a bottle left. And this is rubber cement. And, you know, it doesn't, uh, it just says join metal, glass, ceramics, leather, rubber, tiles, and others. So, you know, I, I guess one of the others could be epoxy. This did stick really well to, to this board and to the rubber. So this is a good... I mean, we had to sand this off. I actually had to use the cutting wheel. Probably should have made a video, but it was more busy than it was uh, a video in time. So this will work, and Marcel was still sleeping when I left the house. Is she awake, Tata? Yeah. Did you ask her about the stapler? Yeah. All right. So we're going to use we're going to use this. Uh, cement and even though we don't have stainless steel staples which I would prefer uh, we're gonna staple it because it does you know it's easier to form it to this if we use staples so we're gonna the staples just by themselves would never hold this on here because I think they would cut the rubber but they will hold it in place exactly where it needs to be while that cement glue dries and it'll add a little strength to it'll help it stay where it needs to stay even after the glue dries so uh, we're gonna Tata's kind of cutting this to custom fit we bought a a different kind of tube the uh, tube that we used before was the the low quality kind Tata and this is the what's the name of this one you said Leo Leo. This is supposed to actually be uh, from Japan and is a good quality rubber as opposed to what we used before which was from somewhere else and not so good quality. So this is the better rubber. We're going to use the rubber cement and we're going to staple it as well. So and we're going to clamp it. You know this I would anticipate we're going to have to change this rubber not often but every every once in a while we'll have to change it because of the forces involved and the surface is not really that well machined that it's sliding in and out of and it's got great force against it but um, it is what it is and so this tube was 140 pesos Tatai is that how much it cost? The, in the the rubber tube, what was the price? 150. 150. It was 150 pesos. So it's not prohibitive, the cost, let's say. Even if we have to replace it uh, once a week, 150 pesos is not uh, out of line. And I wouldn't, I don't think we have to place, replace it once a week, but we might have to do it uh, once a month or every other month or so. This is the proper way to use this, like uh, vinyl tiles. Like tiles? Vinyl, vinyl tiles. Vinyl, veneer tiles? Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, 20 minutes up there. Put, uh, yeah. So you let it dry for 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And then the rubber is also. So you let it become tacky? Yeah. Yeah. kind of uh, rugby to use uh, vinyl tiles. So this is a 
a it's made to be a vinyl adhesive ah, gotcha well I think it'll work on rubber as well it says it'll do rubber on the bottle this one if you put direct the rubber it can slide ah I got you but if you let it dry a small amount it becomes tacky and the rubber won't move I, I got you now that I it's all about proper application. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting any on my fingers, so I'll just go along and make sure we've got every little surface done here. I will have the tiles in the flooring. Mm -hmm. One gallon and we'll fill the flooring like this. So they sell this in gallon containers also? Yeah. Mm. One gallon. Well, it was 95 pesos for this little bottle of, uh, Tate calls it rugby. But it's Apollo high quality, sole attaching, all purpose rubber cement. I guess the shoe repair guy could all, all is use this uses this also. The vinyl band is, is like this also. The what bond? Vinyl band. Vinyl bond? Yeah. Then the quality is like this also. It's good quality. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm with you, Tate. It does get kind of snotty after a few minutes. But it goes on easy enough. You need more, Tate? Yeah. Also for the show maker. Yeah, to attach the the rubber or the bottom. Yeah. Or the man-made leather. Hmm. So can you repair shoes also, Tate? Is there anything you cannot do, Tate? Cool. Before you repaired shoes and umbrellas. Yeah. See, there is nothing that Tatai has not done or cannot do. Can you repair an umbrella with this stuff, Tatai? Yeah. Really? Okay. Any kind of umbrella. We have a spare part. It's my uh, side, side job. Side job. Uh, Tata is the king of side jobs. I don't think. <coughs> I don't think there's anything Tata couldn't do. All right. So wait another ten minutes. Uh, we put a. Uh, we, we you need bucket. more. And a rubber, a small amount. Oh, and so you're gonna put it on the rubber also. Okay. one it is we're going to use that one yeah. 
here. I don't want that to hit the dirt, Tati. So let me let me hold this and pull it through for you. It doesn't take long for this to begin to uh, get sticky. Before I repair any kind of gun. <laughs> and you also used it to repair the homemade guns? Any kind. Uh, oh, any kind of gun? Yeah. Please don't tell me, Tata. I used to make homemade guns? Before. Before. I make Tata's a good boy now. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, do, oh, any, no. do any illegal activity. <laughs> Is that dry? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's definitely stuck my finger to it. It's enough? No. Maybe no. two minutes. Two minutes? All right. All right, well, we got it on. That required uh, all hands free. It required four hands. And it went on really easy, and it stuck. It was, it was uh, well, well, it's not a permanent bond instantly, but when it's tacky, uh, it actually holds. It holds to wherever you put it to, to a certain degree. Tata didn't think those little clamps on the ends there were necessary but we did pull it a bit we did stretch it uh, so there is some there is some force against it and I didn't want it to back off so we just put those two little clamps on there just to uh, appease me it went on really slick I mean really slick I mean I'm I am impressed Try to move. No, no, I don't, I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to. I just want it to sit there, and nobody mess with it for until we use it tonight. Because yeah. we will be going out to the shrimp pond tonight. It's going to be another. Ooh, hard. Did the no nails hold? Yeah. What? In the water, I'm, sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure how it would last in the water? Yeah. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think so, Tate. Although, I don't know, it did... I mean, when I pulled it off, it left rubber behind. So, I don't know, maybe the no-nails would work. Because it did... Uh, it's just an avulsion of this rubber. Yeah. So, the no-nails did not fail, the rubber did, so, I don't know, maybe the no-nails would work in the future, but this is obviously the, uh, is easier to work with, because this required clamping, and we actually had that in a vise, and this is just, you know, we just let it get tacky and stretched it over, and, and nothing nothing else no 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 must no fuss I'm liking it I don't even you know what I I don't even think I don't think staples are necessary do you no need no need so we'll let that fully cure and it's going into operation tonight and there is a you can see there there's a little you know, the, the round curve is perfect. There's a little bit of give right there, so that'll press in there. I think this is going to work perfect. 
I'm liking it. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.